Hello everyone, in this video we have this nice problem. We have x minus y is equal to 2, then we also have x times y is equal to 5, and we have to find the value of x to the third power minus y to the third power. But before we begin, you know the deal already, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. From this equation, we have x minus y is equal to 2. Now let's go ahead and then raise each side of this equation to the second power, okay? So we have x minus y all squared is equal to 4. I'm going to call this equation equation 1, all right? Now considering the left-hand side of equation 1, we have x minus y all squared. Now if we expand this, we have x to the second power plus y to the second power minus 2xy. Now let's go ahead and then make this whole thing the subject. That is x squared plus y squared, right? Now if we do that, we have x minus y all squared. Then we are going to move this whole thing to the left-hand side. So to become positive, right? So we have plus 2xy is equal to x squared plus y squared. All right? Now from equation 1, we know this whole thing to be 4, okay? So we have... 4 over here, then plus 2 into. Now we know xy from this equation to be 5, okay? So we have here to be 5, and this is equal to x to the second power plus y to the second power, okay? Right, so this implies that x to the second power plus y to the second power is equal to 4 plus 2 times 5 is 10, so we have here to be 10, and this is equal to 14. Okay, so we can say that x to the second power plus y to the second power is equal to 14. Right, and from the problem, we have to find the value of x to the third power minus y to the third power. And this is the same as x minus y into x squared plus y squared plus xy. Right, now we know this one from the first equation that is 2 over here, then we also know x, y to be 5, then we know this one to be 14, okay? So we can do direct substitution. So we have x to the third power minus y to the third power is equal to x minus y is 2, then into x squared plus y squared over here is 14, okay? So we have 14 over here, then plus x, y is 5 from this equation, okay? So we have here to be 5. All right, now we have 2 into 19, okay? So we have 2 times 19 is 38, okay? So this means that x to the third power minus y to the third power is equal to 38. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.